This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. Can we please, please stop electing stupid people to positions of power in this country? Can we please avert our gaze from white trash idiots who are just looking for some attention and not send them to Congress? Tina Forte is a woman who's running against Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. And she is just a white, she's a one woman white trash parade. It is beyond me how someone like her has gained any traction whatsoever. whatsoever. Who the, the media is, it, conservative media is fawning over her, giving her interviews, giving her a platform to spew her idiocy where she, with her mouth, proclaims herself to be shameless. I have no shame, she says in this clip. We have witnessed the Marjorie Taylor Greens and the Lauren Boberts and the Louis Gohmerts and the Paul Gosars. We've seen the Donald Trumps. We have stupid, stupid people in Congress who are Republicans. And you juxtapose that against some of the people we have, the Jamie Raskins, the Alexandria Ocasio-Cortezes, the Katie Porters. We have some brilliant minds in Congress on our team because the flash of moronicness isn't a shiny object that we are drawn to on this side. And it is. It's a badge of honor. This this intellectual incuriosity, this lack of, of, of uh, curiosity. It's a, it's a lack of, of wanting understanding of our world, a lack of, of understanding or even w- desire for understanding of other people and their plight and their life and their troubles. Everything is anecdotal with the other side. Anyway, Watch this clip from Tina Forte just being a candidate for Congress. See, when I I get to Congress, I will call it all out on both sides. You should. I have no shame and I have no filter. Zero filter. That's why I am where I am right now. I got popular because I said things that other people were afraid to say. I'm not afraid to say it. I was banned from school property for nine months from my granddaughter's school because I call everybody out. Right. I have no problem saying it. I make a stand. I tell people, stand with me. Let me bring it in, Tina, Miss Forte. Your job when you are not elected to Congress, but let's, let's, let's create a fantasy land where you are. Your job is not to call people out as a congresswoman. Your job isn't to, I calls it like I sees it. Your job isn't to be a rabble rouser. You may believe that's the case because you've witnessed Lauren Boebert and Marjorie Taylor Greene and the rest of these troglodytes. You may believe that's what you're paid to do there, but it's not. Your job is to formulate, write legislation, come up with policy to lead us into the future as a nation. That's your job. Not the, I calls her like I sees it. I got kicked out of my do- my granddaughter's school because I'm just so edgy. Not your job, dumb shit. If you want to do that, start a YouTube channel and be like this dumb shit. You don't see me running for Congress on the platform of, I, uh, I don't have any shame. Not your job. Be more decent. Be less trashy. And this extends to the the ex-POTUS, Donald Trump. This came out today. Um, Maggie Haberman is selling a book filled with details that she should have reported on in real time and said she saved them for her book. Congratulations, Maggie Haberman. Fantastic protection that you have under the Constitution in the First Amendment. 
The only, the only job, I've said it a million times, the only job protected by the Constitution is the free press. And Josh, Josh Dossie from the Washington Post tweeted this, Trump weighed bombing drug labs in Mexico, according to new book. Uh, in an effort to promote sales of her book, she quote tweeted this and said, Trump became entranced by the idea to bomb drug labs in Mexico after it was proposed by a public health corps officer in a dress uniform in the Oval Office. Trump, officials said, was confused by the uniform and thought the man, Brett Giroir, was a senior military officer. Now, you may recognize this character, Brett Giroir. Uh, he is a pediatrician and former four-star admiral in the U.S. Public Health Service Commissioned Corps. It's kind of akin to the, the Surgeon General, not really a general. But Donald Trump saw the military uniform and was be just uh, taken aback by the majesty of his dress uniform and believed whatever he was saying had uh, military and tactical credibility because he had a uniform on. That's dumb shit stuff. That's moron stuff. And he was our president. He was the commander in chief of the armed forces of these United States, who's bamboozled, who, who is just entranced by a uniform and takes up some nutty position. This is reading from that Washington Post article entitled Trump weighed bombing drug labs in Mexico after he mistook advisor new book shows. The 607 confidence man from New York Times reporter Maggie Haberman details unusual and erratic interactions between Trump and world leaders, members of Congress, and his own aides. I'm gonna read two paragraphs from this. It is remarkable, and again, look, the thesis of this little effort here is stop electing morons. As president, Donald Trump weighed bombing drug labs in Mexico after one of his leading public health officials came into the Oval Office wearing a dress uniform and said such facilities should be handled by putting lead to target to stop the flow of illicit substances across the border into the United States. Quote, he raised it several times, eventually asking a stunned defense secretary, Mark Esper, whether the United States could indeed bomb the labs, according to a new book by New York Times reporter Maggie Haberman. White House officials said the official, Assistant Secretary for Health, Brett Giroir, often wore his dress uniform for meetings with Trump, which confused him, which confused Trump. <laughs> Listen, this is yet again with anything related to the Republican Party and Donald Trump, one of those moments that uh, leaves you with a chuckle because it's a little bit funny, but really, when you face the soberness of the situation, that they're talking about an assault on a sovereign foreign nation that borders us, put lead to target, says the pediatrician, and Donald Trump takes him at his word as though he's a tactical expert, that he's a foreign relations expert, that he has diplomacy and military activity, like he's read Clausewitz or something. Carl von Clausewitz wrote a book called On War, if you're interested. Anyway, stop electing morons. You're not doing it. Most of you aren't doing it. I'm not. <laughs> Can we just stop? Anyway, what I would like you to not stop is uh, leaving me voicemails. Let me know what you think. 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. The other way that you can get at me is on social media. You can tell me how wrong I am on Twitter. That would be a fantastic time for both of us. I'm at Dollamore on Twitter, at Dollamore on Instagram. You can find me elsewhere. That is, that's what I go by. And if I bring you value, if I do something important for you or, or uh, I bring value to your day or to your week, please consider supporting my work. Click the join button below, become a channel member. For two bucks a month, you can become a channel member supporting the mission of this show. Or you can go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. Both those are awesome. I love you guys. I appreciate you very much. Be genuine. Take care of one another.